waiting for my stream to go live on Amazon as well, and then we'll be good to absolutely go. So I'm getting the red button from Amazon. Um, I've got the countdown from Facebook and YouTube. That's all looking good. So I believe now we are live on Amazon too, which is really cool because today we are going to be making some slightly unketo bread, but hey, that's life. You just have to go with the flow. <laughs> so there we go. Let's just click on that button there. Should be good. Should. That's it. So countdown timer is about to end. What's not to love? Welcome, welcome. It's Friday. It's the Keto Nick cooking show. Hopefully you can hear me just on the one uh, camera, any luck, or with one microphone, rather. And today uh, we're going to be cooking, we're going to be making some pretty unketo bread, but I'm using wholemeal. I'm also using um, Artisanka's amazing bread bowls that you can see in the carousel uh, if you're watching on Amazon. Um, Corinda, <laughs> brilliant, lovely to see you. Worked perfectly today. Fantastic, brilliant. Thank you, Corinda. Really appreciate you watching. Um, if you're watching on uh, on Facebook or YouTube, hit over to uh, you can hit over to the Amazon page. And in fact, I'm going to drop a little link in. This is what I love about live streaming with Be Live is that I can drop into my uh, I can drop in a link to my Amazon page if I can find the right element to it. Uh, it's nickwood.live is where you want to go. And I'm just going to try and find the right list that I have that on. Uh, yeah, that's the fella. That's the fella. Here we go. So we pop that on the screen. And that, now that link will drop into the comments on YouTube and on Facebook, wherever you're watching there. You can click that link nickwood.live that will take you to the amazon page where i'm streaming live on amazon.com what a joy what a honor um and then you can see the carousel uh, that i have of some of the products i'm using today so that you can uh, follow on so uh, that's brilliant thank you corinda so that's really cool so there you go we can pop that off this is what i love that's uh, my beautiful friends at uh, at be live and maybe a little bit later, I can drop a little link in where you can have a free trial of BeLive and maybe a discount code that will give you a 30% discount as well. However, this is primarily a cooking show, so we better do some cooking. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be doing some bread. Uh, let's say, if you're watching on Amazon, obviously, do, do say hi on Amazon as well. Uh, so, I'm going to be making some bread, and I'm using Artisanka's brilliant bread bowls um, to do that. But I need to... I'll talk to you about them uh, just a little bit later because I need to actually get my ingredients on. So, bread, I am using the old mate, Paul Hollywood, uh, Paul Hollywood's uh, bakery book. In fact, again, I can probably just share with you a little link to that as well. Um, let's have a look. Da -da 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 -da. I can indeed. So by just popping that in the stream, yeah, that, uh, if you're still time, still time, Amazon and all good bookshops, um, click on that link, guys, and you can just grab um, Paul Hollywood's book, um, Bread, absolutely brilliant book. I just lost my page. Um, I do know. <laughs> yeah, I know how to make bread. But I like to because I'm using someone else's kit. I like to keep the menu open for myself. So, um, so yeah, so we're gonna be using that. So go, yeah, there's a late minute, last week stocking filler maybe, just uh, just go for it. Um, right, bread, so we need, we've got water here. Uh, let me get my cooking can. So ingredients, we've got some, some water, slightly warm, we've got some easy bake yeast, we have some salt, um, and we have some flour to the other side of the camera. 
So today I'm using strong, um, strong stone ground wholemeal flour today. Um, that's because I prefer that to white. Now, let's kick off. As always, you can see I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the mighty KitchenAid. Let's get school by. I'm going to pull that nearer so you can see. There you go. That's it. Um, yeah, KitchenAid. Let's adjust the camera so you can see it. And so that is now, if you're watching on Amazon, that is now in my carousel. Uh, these are the KitchenAid Artisan um, series. Chunky, chunky motor, super solid, um, easy lift up and down. On the other side, we've got the 10 speed, 10 speed mixer, so we can start off slowly. Let me just remove uh, Mr. Hollywood out of my side. Um, yeah, so we've got the KitchenAid, beautiful piece of kit. Um, lovely bowl, um, it's got special technology, I can't remember what it's called now, but it basically stops things clinging to the edges, super, super clever. Um, we're going to be using the dough hook, and it comes with uh, comes with a dough hook, a K paddle, uh, which a couple of weeks ago we used brilliantly to, um, brilliantly to make some guacamole, if you remember that one, if you're watching there. On. So let's get our ingredients together. So I've got a little scales here. So there. And so I want 500 grams. Ooh. Yeah, 500 grams of strong flour. So let's press that to zero. Oh, go to zero. That's it. And this is um, strong wholemeal flour. So this will make a lovely. Lovely loaf, and uh, yeah, using it on these proving baskets, which uh, I'm really excited about because I'm going to tell you about them. We can make little patterns, and that's what I really wanted to show you today. So there's our flour. Flour's in there. So uh, we've got our yeast. I'm just using an easy bake yeast, which is um, cool. Put the yeast on one side and the salt on the other. Um, so this is a uh, 10 grams of salt. Not that much, perfect. And 320 milliliters of water. Corinda, you haven't got believe auto comment on. Oh, sorry, Corinda, I haven't. Hold on, let me put the auto comment on there. <laughs> Good work. Um, cool, we can't see a thing, only the bowl. Oh, I know, Corinda. I've got the ingredients in the bowl. Don't worry, I'll show you the bowl in a minute. So I've got the yeast on the one side, salt on the other side. And the reason we do that is because salt will kill yeast. And we don't want our yeast being, being killed. That's what's going to give the bread its rising quantity. And if I was doing it by hand, I'd put about half the water in first of all. But because I'm doing it by mixer, oops. I'm going to pour all that water in there, some bit missed off, and pop a little bit more in. That jug wasn't the best one on my planet. That's obviously why that jug is not in the, um, not in my carousel. So I'm going to start the uh, mixer off nice and gently. And uh, move the camera so I hope you can see inside. So that's with the dough hook attachment. And that's going to come up nicely. It might get a bit noisy. So uh, bear with you there. Hi, Steve. I'm watching on Amazon. Great to see you here. I'll just uh, quickly say hi back in the comments. There you go. And hopefully we might get one more cooking show in before Christmas. Uh, we haven't got... Over here, so I'm gonna switch, switch my uh, audio around. That might have been getting a bit too noisy on that audio. Um, but we haven't got a cook-off next week. Um, but there's a, we're gonna do that back again 
in the new year. So in that Tuesday slot, I'll go do another little cooking show as well. So here we go. Look at this. Coming around. And it's not doing much. It's looking pretty, looking pretty boring at the moment, I have to say. But it will get there. What that's doing is it's just breaking down all the gluten strands, the elongation, and making them longer. Uh, and that's what's going to get that going. At the moment, it just looks like a bit of a brown mess, but that's okay. That'll come together. And that's why we have the kitchen open, because it just allows you to get on with everything else. But what I can do, I can show you these. These are these pretty little um, proving baskets. Now, normally you'd use uh, like the sourdough. Uh, you'd use these, but these work perfectly well. Uh, and what they are, they're great. I'll them. I've got these in the, in the carousel, if you're watching on Amazon. I'll do that without switching my phone off. And this is a, this is a, nine inch uh, bread proving set so you get the bowl you get two bowls two cloths and the reason you have a cloth uh, is because it stops it sticking to the wood in the bowl uh, other thing, you also get a lovely little dough scraper as well i might use that in a minute just to show you and here's the coolest thing is you also get these wooden uh, wooden, there you go, these are lovely little wooden stencils which will give you, say, the heart, and this will give you a, a clever little picture on the top of your, that's a, that's a teddy bear, get the line the right way, and then of course a unicorn, so let me know in the, let me know in the comments, do we want a unicorn, a teddy bear, a heart, or a windmill? as our uh, as our pattern and basically what you do is you have your bowl and you place them in there and then when our dough is done we let it prove so it will rise and it will take on that pattern so let me know in the you've got a choice guys a unicorn a teddy bear a heart or a windmill so uh, yeah that'd be cool Okay, I might just pop a little bit more water. I did lose water when I was putting it in there. That should be plenty. And that's bringing it around. As you can see, I don't know whether you can see on the camera, but it's, it's, that's the thing about the KitchenAid. It pulls it all together. Now you can see it's really coming into a bow. Fantastic. And what we're going to do, we're going to, when that's done, we're going to let that rise. While that's rising, that's when we're going to do this uh, two, this is a two Michelin starred ratatouille. This is the one I learned at Le Manoir Cookery School. Uh, if you didn't know, Raymond Blanc's Le Manoir Cookery School. Um, yeah, that was the summer party menu. Uh, so I'll talk to you a little bit about that. That was superb. Now, this ratatouille is, is amazing. And, and so simple and uh, and yeah and then we'll also make a little salad because i need to make a little salad for my dinner later on now that's looking good that's it coming together and it's one of those things you just can't you can't rush a good uh, a good bread i say so just leaving that to mix away and so let us know what do you think Guys, what do you think, bread-wise? You've got a favourite bread? I mean, you like to make little rolls. Let's say, this isn't super keto-friendly, but sourdough tends to be more keto-friendly than anything else because you've actually got a the sourdough starter is fermenting. So the, 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 it takes some of the, the sugar out of, the, out of that process. So that's that fermentation process. So that's all good. This is coming together nicely. Let's give it a bit more. Let's 
didn't want to put it on super high because I didn't want to deafen you. But uh, that's good. But don't forget, you've got the choice. We have either a unicorn, a teddy bear, a heart, or a windmill as our templates for what we need. It also says, uh, a week today, it'll be Christmas Eve. Uh, what do you do on Christmas Eve? I've got, uh, I'm going to make a roast ham. I've got a big ham for, for Christmas Eve. And we do that, we know that's a kind of a tradition now. We have a Christmas ham, and we serve that with lovely mashed potato. Because uh, I'm having Christmas off from the keto diet. Uh, so that mashed potato, parsley sauce, and we have a beautiful white sauce. Uh, infuse it with parsley, then finish it off with, with chopped parsley. That's really cool. Love that. And uh, yeah, you know, keto meat, I've lost since the end of January, I have lost um, three stones. So, I can't believe that is in pounds, quite a lot. Uh, just over 20 kilos, I think, uh, 23 kilos. Like that. Um, and that is by going not carb free, just go low carb as opposed to no carb. So, you know, they're, they're totally hardcore, but basically take out the big part. So bread, ironically, uh, bread, <laughs> rice, and I love rice, bread, rice, potatoes, and pasta. So all those things I really did enjoy. But actually, you know, I don't miss them. And uh, now I'm not eating them. No, let's say, I still regularly am able to have a little, a little day where I have some carbs. Um, it's, you know, it's no carb, not no carb. Right, this is coming together. Moving around. This is why I've got about the kitchen aid. This is so hardcore. There's a chunky motor in there, but absolutely beating that uh, dough beautifully. So it's breaking down all those. Uh, those can't get those. They're breaking them down. Elongating the gluten, and that's what's going to give us a lovely, uh, a lovely texture. But of course, because this is wholemeal, this is not going to be as light and fluffy as uh, as a white, as a white moon nut, maybe. That's coming together nicely. What I'm going to do, just just so I can demonstrate it, is uh, I'm going to use the I'm going to use the dough scraper. That's got a good fun. We'll just give it a little wash first. Um, actually, I'm getting a little bit. Um, and it's brand new out of packet. Um, yeah, just getting a little bit noisy. But that is good. But yeah, please feel free to go and uh, check out on the. Amazon page, go and have a look at the KitchenAid equipment. Please have a drink. Uh, you can do pasta, um, you can have a, add a sausage uh, maker in there as well. So that's really cool. Now that's coming to that. It just took its time, but now it's all coming together into a lovely dough. That's it. As you see, you know, the KitchenAid is, is quite chunky, but the dough is really trying to move the KitchenAid around. Like you need a good hard, hard core mixer. And it's beginning to smell really beautiful as well, really coming alive. So uh, that's really cool. Let us know. Have we have got, uh, since I've put the auto comments on, Belinda, you haven't commented. <laughs> but, uh, but never mind. Hopefully you can see that now. That is coming together. So what you want to do with these, um, you don't want to put them straight into the, into these pots. We need to kind of, we need to um, season them almost. Uh, and that's what we've got. Spray them with a little bit of water. Just mist them. Sprinkle some flour around. 
and then tap the flower off so you don't have an excess. And that way it won't all stick. And it's a, it's a really great idea. So I think that is pretty much done. That's been about 15 minutes, I guess, mixing. Not too bad. Uh, Guy Cook, thank you so much for following. Really appreciate that. You say we're making some bread. Uh, then we're going to be making a lovely two, two Michelin star gratitude and a bit of salad as well. While our bread rises. So what's not to love about that? Now, I reckon, oops, I reckon that's pretty much done. Oh, tell you what, I totally forgot that in. Might have to give it a little bit longer. <coughs> I forgot to add in the uh, olive oil, so to pop that in a little bit more. That's okay, you can have that whenever we wanted to add it. That's good. That's coming together so beautifully now. Fantastic. Well, oh, that's just. Well, that's good. Let me move that camera if you want to. Be able to demonstrate the rest of it. There we go, all coming to fish. For our bread. That looks good. Like I say it's quite a quite a, a moist dough, but that's how we like it. And um, because it's the water inside the dough that is going to make it uh, separate the crumb. So we'll get the air between the crumb. That's what we do with that. So let us lightly flour our okay we haven't had a i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with the teddy bear stencil and just lightly flowering around It's just a matter of pouring our dough mixture. Into our proving basket. Like so. So there's our dough in our proving basket. Nice. So what that's going to happen is that's going to rise. We'll leave that to rise. Um, and if it was a normal one, I would, I would actually then knock it back and let it rise again. But because this is a whole meal, we're just going to let it rise the first time. And uh, and go with a one rise bread. Aha, uh -huh, see? But you didn't think I was just going to do that. But that's good. So, as always, do a little bit of washing up while we go along. 
that they like to be clean. It's something they, it's something they teach you in uh, in cookie school. <laughs> cookie school is is clean up as you go. So always make sure you clean as you go. That's all. Well, then, see, and was that just a great little uh, great little piece of kit? And comes with our lovely. Washing up stuff. Nice. That's done. That's done. That's done. So yeah. So I'm going to cover that with clean tea towel, and just going to leave that somewhere warm. Just over here, just to rise. So. When that's risen, when that's risen, then uh, we can turn it out. Hopefully, we will have the. Hopefully, we will have our lovely um, stencil picture on it as well, and uh, and that will make a really great. That make a really great thread. So just uh, just finishing off the bowl here. I need to put the kitchen over away so I can carry on and show you the other bits and pieces. So that's all good. Yeah, nicely washed. Okay. Washed and lovely little clean, nice clean dough cook. Now the other thing, the other great tip. They teach you in cooks always have a lot of cloths because <laughs> you go through them, you really do. So that's good. Let me just show you the beautiful KitchenAid again. So yeah, it's a lovely KitchenAid. I think it's a most lovely piece of equipment. You know, one of my one of my cherished pieces of equipment. I I would say. So uh, yeah. What's not to love about that? So let's pop the KitchenAid again back in the carousel. So that's the KitchenAid and, uh, and Artis Anchor's beautiful bread basket. And so you get two, two lots. So that was the first one. Uh, so you actually get you actually get two. So uh, you know you can have two lots of, on the go. And it's great. Created for professional or novice bakers. Make your bread stand out the easiest and fastest way possible. 100% handmade, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Love what they do. So that is now a nice. Now we have a nice clean, clean KitchenAid. That's that's all clean. That's good. And we're going for it. So. Now, guys, do let us know uh, what you're doing for Christmas. I know Stephen is off to Germany, and um, lucky Stephen. Hopefully, you're still going to Germany, Stephen. Um, hopefully, they haven't uh, they haven't cancelled or told told us we can't go from the UK. But who knows? <laughs> who knows what this government will do? Okay, so let's put the other things in the kitchen aid. So what comes as standard with the kitchen aid is you have your mixer, whisker, and your K-paddle as well. And it also has a brilliant uh, little lip element. So you can cover your bowl. And that has a lovely lip so you can actually pour, which is uh, really clever. And as I say, there's also the attachments that you can put on the top um, that are really, really good. So let's pop that down there. Let's shut it down again. Perfect. And then I can pop that away. Three. Down in the cupboard. So, right. 
bread sitting there, lovely. That's rising away. Pop that there. Right, next on our list is, um, shall we want to go with? Oh, the R8 is point eight. We should be able to travel. Oh, Stephen, I hope so. I hope so. Um, yeah. Um, I'm guessing you're. I'm guessing you're flying or training. No, you're going by train, aren't you? I think. I was just wondering how you went through France. You will know. You will know the way. I know. Uh, right. So there's our freight. So that's all sitting there. Let's move Arctic anchors stuck away. And next thing, shall we do the shall we do the two star Michelin Ratatouille? Let's do that. Eurostar. Nice one, Stephen. Nice one. Good, right. Here we go with a two star, two Michelin star Ratatouille. Courtesy of I've got his book in the carousel. And I think I might have it in here as well. Uh -huh. Oh no, I haven't got his book in. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. I do have this book of Raymond's in. Uh, in so, if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, you can click that and uh, have a look at that book. There's another Amazon link, but actually, in the carousel, uh, the simple French cookery. Um, from Raymond Blanc is a cracking book. Um, yeah, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, not least because at the end it, it does these great um, menus. So you've got like a menu for an elegant dinner party, a menu for an easy dinner party, romantic dinner. Uh, a romantic vegetarian dinner. Is there, su is there such a thing? Um, a healthy family meal. Excellent idea. And um, and a family meal. So, yeah, they're great menus. And in there is uh, ratatouille for sure. So, uh, okay, that's, that is it. So, ratatouille ingredients. We have an aubergine or eggplant. We have courgettes or zucchini, depending on where you live. Uh, we have some. We have some beautiful tomatoes as well. Uh, ideally, I would have got some uh, super lovely plum tomatoes, but got some like that instead. Uh, and a red onion. And we use half the red onion for half the red onion for the ratatouille, half the red onion for the Salad. So, pop that there. Ooh. Now we are also going to have. See, this is. See, this is the Raymond Blanc Cookery School. Just to just to prove. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're also going to be using some basil which I've got over there. Um, we also have he puts caster sugar. Not going with that. Um, we're going to go with garlic and olive oil. What's not to love? And then we're going to toss it. So I do need my circulon pan, which I've just realised is not here. So just talk amongst yourselves for two seconds. See, and as if by magic, he is back with an amazing circulon pan. So we might as well put the circulon pans in the carousel as well. Uh, where have they gone? So there they are. Yeah, the circulon premier professional pans. Absolutely amazing. Uh, they, they're bronze in the carousel. Mind that. They all do the same thing, circular. They've got this amazing non-stick technology, um, which is slightly raised circles as well. Um, it says you can use, they say you can use um, 
uh, metal utensils on it as well as plastic and they're dishwasher safe and that is true but I would just urge a little bit of caution um, the metal on non-stick is never in my opinion a good idea uh, even if they say it's okay I wouldn't do it uh, and also yes they are dishwasher proof but it's so much easier just to quickly wash them and wipe them as soon as you're done with them. I've got these hard adenized bases so that removes all the hot spots when you're cooking as well. There's nothing worse, it's quite thick, you can see. There's nothing worse than having a having hot spots in your pans because they've got things just cooking at different temperatures, at different times. Nightmare, nightmare. And as anyone has watched regularly knows you know we want to make it simple so we cut things up the same size we want things to cook at the same time so that's the thing so right now, this is a, this is a lovely one um i think it's a lovely one um aubergine eggplant i think such an underrated underrated uh, vegetable and because i think people just really aren't sure how to cook it more than anything else um but uh but yeah, all we're going to do here, I mean, the skin can get a little bit, a little bit um, challenging. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it into those. Slice it again. See that? Yeah. Lengthways. And see so what you can see is you've got these little, that's going to be lovely little squares now. So we want them to Oh, one centimeter. Is that about one centimeter? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I say one centimeter. As long as they're the same size, <laughs> as long as they're the same size as the courgettes, when you chop them up, then that would be okay. We're going to uh, dice the onions, and we're probably just going to halve the tomatoes because there's not much of them. And if they were bigger tomatoes, I would actually de-seed them as well. But as they're small tomatoes, that'd be okay. Uh, I can't do that without cutting my fingers. Just. Oh, look, yeah, guys, listen, look. War wound. I know it only looks like a tiny little nick to you, but my God, that hurt. <laughs> I just, chopping, accidentally, uh, accidentally caught my finger. What can I say? <laughs> I just wasn't looking. So let's get some heat on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me, I wasn't expecting to sneeze in. I don't think I've got anything on me, but just in case, let's uh, just not take any risks. So, heat on. Fantastic. So uh, that'll be good. Uh, a little bit of olive oil in, just to keep us going. And I say using non-stick pans, but also you know a little bit of olive oil. It all just helps. The olive oil is more for the flavour than uh, than anything else. So got those there. Let's um, let's pop them in first. Right, warming up. Now think about um, eggplant, courgette, uh, aubergines, rather, however you want to call them. Um, is they suck in the oil they suck it up and that's when it can they can then get a little bit greasy and really holding that oil but what you might not know is that after a while if you carry on cooking them they will then release that oil back so they suck it up but as they cook they release it back but a lot of people uh, don't realize that and so you cook them and then suddenly not such a good idea so uh, like this. So projects, top us off. Again, one, two, three. These runs. And this is this is one that always makes me laugh because this is where the poor chap of the we doing this at the cookery school, making this exact um, this exact ratatouille. Poor chap sliced his finger. I mean, really badly. Um, yeah, sliced his finger with his carving knife. Had to sit down. Had to stay there with his hand in the air while his uh, pro chefs came along 
They're very much used to um, dealing with cuts like that. Um, I think the poor, poor man was going to faint at one stage. Um, but yeah, they, they bandaged him up and uh, we had to carry on. Um, and we actually made him his lunch, bless him. Um, which I didn't mind because, I, you know, as I say, I, I, I enjoy chopping things up. But having said that, I'm not doing a very good job of making this uniform. Just, uh, just get it onto a flat surface. That's probably a much better idea. Yeah, so much easier than trying to cut on a circle. So they are roughly the same size as our aubergines, which is good. So let's throw those away. They're they looking lovely, looking lovely. Okay, next in, let's go with the red onion. And quickly dice red onion. So you dice red onions loads of times. If you've watched before, you know the score. This one's probably be, probably seen better days this red onion, but. Here we go with a slice. One, two, because it's quite small. And slice along up to the root. And then just slide it along your nail. And there you have a lovely dice, actually, because that's quite small and a B2. That's, that's how I sliced my finger the other day. Which is not very clever. Not big and not clever. So here you go. Um, what else have we got going on here? So yeah, stick around. We've currently got. If you're watching on on Amazon in the carousel. We have the circle on cookware, which is what I'm cooking this ratatouille in. Uh, we also have the recipe will be in the Raymond Blanc cookbook. And saying so, I learned this recipe. At the two Michelin starred uh, Le Manoir au Cap Saison in Oxfordshire at the Raymond Blanc School of Cookery. Hence, I think. So, yeah, that was a fantastic time. And it's great, it's those skills that, that they never leave you. Which is all good. So let's pop my onion in there. Now I am going to do. I'm going to do a little sheet, only because. Uh, only because there there weren't the fresh. Others. So I'm not putting too many, but just to add some dried. Herbs there as well. And a scrambled wooden spoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lovely ratatouille. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be quite, a, this is going to be a nice, light, dry ratatouille. When I was, when I used to work in a pub in my Late teens, yeah, it must have been 18, 19. Um, yeah, I was just 18. People people couldn't believe I was behind the bar. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it was well, it wasn't the pub, it was a rest, it was a hotel. And so they did uh, have a, a restaurant. Nothing fancy, but they everything came with ratatouille. And it was lucky, messy, oh, it was not good for that. We're talking very early 80s, I guess, in those days. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very early 80s, so wasn't the best food scene in the UK back in those days, to say the least. I think everything was rather brown and grey. Um, Keith Floyd was setting the world alight on the TV. Uh, so 
He was always good. He had a great recipe in one of the Sunday supplements for gypsy stew, which was chickpeas, which I'm going to pop in the salad today as well. Um, chickpeas, pears, green beans, uh, and managed to he uh, thickened it with this. Um, you made a toast, basically toasted some bread. Um, there was some uh, crushed garlic, which I also put in here. Um, and uh, and he, he, made, he pounded it up into a paste, a uh, white wine, dry white wine. He made it into a paste and he thickened the stew with that paste. Absolutely gorgeous. It was absolutely, and I used to make it for many years after that. Um, yeah, green beans were in it. But uh, yeah, paprika. And I know that it was the thing that really turned it on was uh, there was loads of saffron, which I know is pretty pricey as spices go. But uh, absolutely worth it, really gorgeous. So there we go. Lovely recipe. That is going spectacularly well. Which is normally the precursor for something to go wrong. So we have a little, little garlic uh, on this one. So just gonna crush it up and chop it quickly. Oh no, I won't. This is Raymond. Raymond's recipe, so I'll crush it and then uh, add some salt. And this is how you just crush. You make a little garlic paste. And two things you do, a couple of things that happen when we make garlic paste like this. A, weirdly, uh, <laughs> You're not going to get garlic stuck in your teeth, for one. Um, but also, weirdly, uh, you don't end up stinking of garlic. It's true. It is true. Trust me on this one. Here's a little garlic paste. That's nice. That's coming along beautifully. Turn the heat down on that. So, as always, time for a quick tidy. So we're nice and neat and clean. What else is going in there? Oh yes, we need some basil, which we're going to chiffonade. Which I hope I'm right in remembering. Chiffonade and basil is it's just one, so it's all long like that. So that's chiffonade to basil. Do you think that's not chiffonade? Write in, let me know. Hey, Lucy looks young, looks fab, yum, yum. Ah, oh, Lucy. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the uh, two Michelin star ratatouille that we learnt at Le Manoir, and uh, it is almost done. So we've got in here we have aubergine, eggplant, uh, courgette, tomato, basil. And that is delicious. And actually, you could, I tell you, you could actually put that on, you know, bread, the bread, the bread, oh, the bread is rising, mm, the bread's kind of rising. <laughs> Whoever makes bread on live streams, I mean, really, crazy boy. Um, yeah, that's, I don't know why the auto comments is not showing up, but let me show you that one. Thank you, Lucy. Appreciate that. Happy anniversary for the other day, by the way. Um, yeah, so... That's all good, that's good. Bread's still sitting there rising, although it's only had, mm, yeah, it's not had a huge amount of time. But we shall see. Okay, so 
next thing to make is a lovely salad. So I'm going to take that off. It's going to come off the heat. Uh, we've got our lovely chiffonade in basil. I'm just going to pop that in. Well, and I'm just going to dish that on a little plate. So you can see. Da, 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 da. There you go. So it's just a beautiful. Beautiful ratatouille that, in fairness, you can actually you can actually cool that down and freeze it, uh, and then reheat it. That would be perfectly okay. Um, that's good. Uh, Lucy saying, "How do I grab your cooking must-haves? Is there a link?" Yes, there is. We've got a couple of links that were in the, were in the comments, Lucy. Uh, if you nip over to the Amazon page, so I just popped. Uh, that link's going to pop up in the comments while you're watching now. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, uh, this is uh, predominantly an Amazon live stream. Uh, so I have to just duck under because I've done it. Um, and so click that link. That will take you over to the Amazon page uh, where in the carousel you will see links to the cookbooks, the pots, the, uh, the cookbooks, pots, the brilliant... Uh, artisanka proving bowls. Yeah, Lucy, we, we're just making some bread. Uh, so that should be fine. Um, yeah, and some of the cookbooks. And yeah, go fill your boots, uh, I think the phrase is. Um, the bread I was making, I was following one of um, one of Paul Hollywood's, and as a, a late, you know, the cookbooks, late Christmas presents, stocking fillers. You just still all of those from Amazon and you'll be in time for your uh, for Christmas. So let's just have a quick quick taste just to prove. Just so I can prove to you it is edible. So this is the see some aubergine, courgette, so eggplant and uh, uh, zucchini or zucchini. Mmm. Mmm. A little bit of salt. Lovely fresh tomatoes. Mm. That's the shame about about um, having to do this as a live stream. Ah, oh, Lucy watching on Facebook. Um, yes, yeah, so that you can't taste it. I wish you could taste it. It is absolutely. Delicious. So, so now, equally delicious, we're going to be making a quick salad. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I have to put that to one side. Um, otherwise, I'll eat it all, which would not be good. Let me just move the camera a touch. That's better. So let's uh, give our board, our board a quick wipe. And what I will do actually, I'll be cleaning it, but I'm also gonna, uh, I'm also gonna flip it over as well. Just cause it's nice and clean. Make sure we don't catch anything, which should be good. So nice clean board, there we go. Flipped over as well. Nice and clean, fresh knife as well, because we want to be nice and clean, and that's the thing that they teach us in cooking classes, cooking school. Is uh, here's a nice work clean, so we know a nice clean knife. Uh, Lucy found you on Amazon, fantastic! I need to buy some of those pans. Oh, Lucy, seriously, these circular pans are absolutely brilliant. You got the you got the pro. Uh, the pros in there in, in that carousel um 
you know, have a look at those. But there's also there's they've got some also excellent ones. Um, all of their products are great. Uh, Infinite Infinite are, are one of their ones in the UK specifically. Um, but yeah, go and click on the on them and uh, have a look. They are beautiful. I I got the I got the Pro set uh, a few years ago, and it was you know brilliant. It was a <laughs> it was really cool. Uh, and people said. That was a Christmas present. I said, "Yeah, best Christmas present I've had in years. Love them. Uh, they're really good, really lovely to, to use. So, so nice. And it's not just the the frying pans, the skillets. You've got some big pots. Really gorgeous, really gorgeous. I'm going to go show them to Meat Man. Yes, Meat Man, Meat Man would probably love them because yeah, they do. They do a lovely. I do. I cook all my steaks with them, so I, I, I love to do it. Right." Ratatouille done, salad next. So, this is going to be a super, super simple salad. Um, I'm going to blow my own trumpet now. Oh my god, that ratatouille looks absolutely delish. Sunshine, trust me, it is gorgeous. I wish, it, I wish you could taste it. I'm just going to message you back. Thank you. Sunshine and sunshine. If you're, if you're not, uh, please do follow me uh, and uh, check it out. That'd be great. Uh, eager to cook your recipes. Ah, oh, thank you. Please do. So, and these are all healthy, healthy, healthy recipes. Thank you, such a yeah. Click the follow button, and uh, that way uh, you'll get notified. I believe next time I go live, I'm trying. Hopefully, I'm going to do another cooking show Tuesday earlier. In the morning, so right here we have it's a nice clean salad bowl. So we a nice clean salad. Now, weirdly, I don't know what it is, but yeah, I'll blow my own trumpet. This salad is gorgeous, and everyone who has it says, "Oh my god, where'd you get that salad from?" It's just just the way I make salad. Here's a red onion that I prepared earlier. Uh, when I say I prepared it earlier, and I prepared it yesterday, I just, well, I had half an onion left over. That's, that's what I'm really trying to say. Um, so here we go, let's try it. I'm not sure we've got everything in shot. There's our lettuce. Oh gosh, why does everything come with so much plastic packaging? I don't know. Uh, anyway, right, let's get this. this um, let's try, try and get the tough bits of skin off. You don't want to eat that. That's just unpleasant. Now, I think the way why this salad works so well is, again, it sticks to my philosophy, my cooking philosophy of cutting things up nice and small so you get them in a bite-sized piece. To me, that makes sense because that means that everything, you get a bit of everything when you take a mouthful. So here we go. Let's try not to cut my finger uh, with onion cutting masterclass. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to do a fine dice. I'm just going to leave it a little bit more rustic, pretty thin. Because again, you don't want that. You don't want a big, thick piece of onion in your salad. It is quite strong. And for these, I do tend to use red onions because they are sweeter, they're nicer. In my in my humble opinion, um, yeah, more flavoursome. So that's it. There you go. In first of all, I think what's what the killer is on this salad is the dressing. To be honest, so take some of the outer leaves off. Only, only because this is going to make a huge salad. And again, if I was gonna, if I was making this salad for a dinner party, then uh, I probably wouldn't be using my uh, metal knife. 
because what tends to happen when you're cutting lettuce with a metal knife is that the edges will oxidize um, and they'll go brown over time. So I know that I'm going to eat this fairly quickly, so I'm not too bothered. Um, but you know, yeah, tear it would be good. So, you know. And the thing is, you know, tear it, but make sure you, they won't be small pieces that will get on someone's fork. That's, that's the thing. Um, I know they get eaten very quickly. Um, yeah, actually, Lucy, if you're still watching, what does what does Meat Man serve with his meat? There's the there's the question. Um, I'm all for I'm all for eating lots of meat, and um, I do like to have something to go with it. Um, okay. Also, here we go. The humble cucumber. Yeah, I'm only going to have half of the cucumber. I think I'll have this half. And again, look at this plastic packaging. Sorry, be careful, be careful with your knives, guys. Don't, um, don't do that. Oh yes, I'm following you just since this minute I saw you live for the first time. Oh, thank you, Sunshine. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I'm. Didn't know keto. I've lost uh, something like fifty, almost fifty-six pounds. I think fifty-two pounds since the end of January this year um, by switching from uh, from just like a dirty keto. Really, I go low carb. So basically, all I did was cut out the the big carbs, so potatoes, rice, pasta, and bread. Yeah, that was like that's everything I eat. Um, but then that's why I was uh, so overweight. Um, and then committed to some exercise as well. So that's that's why I'm keto. Um, this these are all these are all pretty keto recipes, um, to be honest. Apart from the bread we were making earlier. Uh, which is not so keto. So you can do a couple of things with um, with this, to be honest. Uh, if you want to be really flashy, you could peel it, but I can I quite like the uh, cucumber skin. Um, I'll actually just give it a little rinse. Um, yeah, I quite like the skin. The thing that I'm not too fussed about, I think this is what makes what makes an adds just an adds to the salad, is that I take the seeds out. Um, I'm not a massive. I don't think they I don't think they, they give much. So just half full trip. So yes, just these, just these little seeds. And they're so easy to take out. Just literally slide your knife down, and then they're pretty much just water, really. You don't take them all out. They're just a little bit unnecessary. And the ones. This is all going to be one trip, so that will be much easier to do. So just again, quarter, and then just uh, run your knife. I know it goes against. Against the knife rules, really, but we don't want to run the knife into our fingers. Normally, I like to cut away from the edge, um, but I'm trying to do it in a way that you can see what I'm doing. But I have to be careful because the knife is very sharp, as I found out to my cost only the other day. Um, I know I keep whinging on about how I cut myself, and it's, it's just the smallest cut ever. But, um, but it was like it was like a paper cut. That's the thing. The knives are so sharp. It's going to be like a paper cut. Oh, I need oh, sunshine. I need to lose forty pounds, and I need to incorporate more vegetables. Yeah, more healthy. It's just healthy stuff. Um, my problem is not being able to season veggies to my interest without a lot of salt or dressing. I tell you, actually, I salt gets a salt gets a really bad deal, sunshine, um, because actually, yeah, there's lots of salt in processed meals, so ready meals and things like that. Tins, jars, they were making them all bite sized pieces. Um, and so, yeah, so when you add salt onto that, then that's not so good. Um, but salt is, is one of the key flavor blocks. Um, so, you know, for all seasoning, salt and pepper, uh, absolutely. Um, and so, as you can see, when you're watching the ratatouille, I didn't actually salt the ratatouille, 
uh, until after I dished it up because again it's a personal preference and um, there was lots of there was herbs in there there was basil and so there was tomatoes lots of different competing flavors they need to be brought together as well and I got olive oil in there as well which was which was doing it um but yeah but when you're more when you when you're aware of what you're putting in your in your mouth where you know it's, where it's come from it's easier to bake healthy dinners and it's the thing was i make um i always say is that i can make a dinner i'm, I'm taking my time today because of course i'm i'm proving bread in the background <laughs> so i'm not rushing this today but i can make a dinner quicker than i can get a takeout you know order a takeaway i like to add celery salt to my dressings yeah celery salt why not it's it's delicious and that's weirdly here's a weird thing that's the one the one um the one food stuff that I really do not like is celery. It just like makes me want to go, Ugh. Um, so yeah, it's like, it's, it's not good. <laughs> so, but, uh, but funny enough, I can have it. Celery salt is fine. Celery soup is fine, but celery as a raw ingredient, I just find really difficult to eat. It's not about the flavor, which is really crazy considering we use celery in, in most, um, in, in most base sources, you'll use celery as a, as a building block to flavor. So yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, oh, Sunshine, where are your live recipes? Uh, Sunshine, I don't have any other live recipes. Oh, apart from, if you go into, after this show, go into my storefront and you can have a look and then that should have all my live videos. So you'll see videos of me and Stephen where we do our live tech shows. There's also others of me doing the cook-off with Adair, some other cook-offs as well. But no, I, I need to do some live um, recipes. I have to, that's, you are absolutely right. And uh, and yeah, and, uh, and if you type in keto, type in keto Nick uh, into Facebook, maybe. Um, right, let me do that, so. Okay, so we have, what have we put in there already? Uh, red onion, lettuce, cucumber, now I like to I like to add a little bit more of robustness as well. So I'm going to add some spinach and you're going to add some more tomatoes as well. Really. So again, spinach. Love it. And this is a great way of actually um, incorporating some great iron into your into your diet. I mean, you know, when you cook spinach, it goes it goes really down. But uh, if you're adding it to a salad, it stays its robust self. And there's a there's an irony flavour, a little peppery note in there as well. So again, like the seasoning, um, sunshine. That's another another thing that you bringing it together. Um, so we've got spinach in there, let's put some tomatoes in. Yeah. I won't put any chickpeas in today. I might add some later. But again, tomatoes, and because these are little tiny ones, I'll just give them a very, I might just halve them. Just so that they're just a little in one place. That's good. That's the, that's the postman. If you heard a, if you had a tinkle tinkle, that was all the postman did it. Um, and it's cool. And yeah, actually, you know what, Sunshine? I, I think I need to do that, don't I? I need to actually, I need to write the recipe um, and then and then we can all do it as a cook along. Ooh. There's there's an idea. A cook along. We could have a cook along. We have a, have a cook off normally every Tuesday at 9 a.m. in the UK with a dare over in Australia. Um, I'm not sure where where you're watching from, but, um, but yeah, uh, I can do it on a Friday this sort of time, so that's okay. Yeah, we could have a cook off, but not a cook along. So I'll come up with a little recipe, uh, maybe a little lunch or brunch recipe, and uh, and we can cook along. I can 
Is that's the thing I just need to get a bit more um, need to get a bit more organised, and that way I can promote earlier, let you know what I'm going to make, let everyone get the ingredients, and then we just have a lovely little cooked on. That'd be good. I like that idea. I like that idea. Well done. Thank you, Sunshine. Yeah, this is a great idea. Well, Sunshine, you're the one I could credit you with that because um, <laughs> I hadn't thought I hadn't talked about it until you uh, until you said about the recipes. So that's good. So, uh, okay, so we've got everything there in the We have some salt. Now, for this one, I'm actually using um, mold and sea salt. See, sometimes that's not a lot of salt, but that's the, that's the only salt we put in. And that's uh, Sea salt flakes that have not been processed or anything like that. So that's really good. I'm just going to quickly say hello and thank you to, to you, Sunshine. Thank you so much, Sunshine. Thanks for such great idea. So, uh, so yeah, I don't know where you are, Sunshine, but um, but yeah, maybe if I might do that for Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, and here you can say olive oil, virgin olive oil. We just want to add a bit of virgin olive oil. That adds flavor as well. Be fairly generous with that. And then oh, we've got some lemon, fresh lemon, fresh seed lemon juice. Goes over that as well. Trying to get in the salad bowl, not over me. Didn't do that very well. That certainly got over me instead. Okay, um, and potentially you could pop a little bit of pepper in there as well, but I don't know. Um, one thing I would do, I've not got any, there's a hand, I don't think. No, that's a shame. Yeah, normally I've got, if I've got some, uh, some fruit, if I've got some grapes, or if you're keto, blueberries, something like that, again, just chop a little, a few of that handful of blueberries, a handful of grapes into that will just transform it. Melon works really well, little cubes of melon in a salad. Um, even if you're not a big fan of, um, even if you're not a big fan of the, um, that's what I'm looking for. Even if you're not a big fan of, of fruit in your in your salads or lunches, it really does work. And yeah, so added that in, just gonna give it a gentle little toss. Um, just all you want to do is just get the get the olive oil and the lemon juice just gently coating uh, the, the leaves. There's nothing worse than dry leaves. Um, you know, when I was brought up, a uh, salad was literally a limp bit of wet, a limp bit of lettuce, a tomato, a pickled onion, and a lump of cheese. That was a uh, that was pretty much what constituted a salad in the UK. In the, early 80s. Mm. That's good. Fantastic. So there you go. So here's our salad. And you see it just glistens. That's all we want. Just a nice little glisten. So we haven't gone over the board on the oil. We haven't gone over the board on anything else. Just got enough there. It's just lovely coating it. And it's just glistening. What's not to love about that? Which is cool. So there you go. So that's that's our salad all made, and going over that later on. I'm going to pop that in my salad bowl, pop it in the fridge later. Mm, I'll get in that fridge, I'm going to do that in a moment. Right now, okay, we've come to the we've come to the the big the big reveal. <laughs> This could go horribly wrong, um, but it's a big reveal. How has our bread done? It's difficult. It's always going to be a big ask trying to get a bread to rise while making something else. It's only had, gosh, it's only had about 45 minutes to rise. Uh, not really a lot. But I want to demonstrate. Um, I want to demonstrate how this has worked. It probably needs to rise again. So, 
if this doesn't work, my apologies to Arthur Lanikan. But, um, but yeah, so basically we've had our bread rising. This is a wholemeal bread, so it's fairly dense, fairly heavy. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it over and hopefully oh, that has done exactly what it should have done. And now, hopefully, you just gently ease it off. I think it's because this whole meal's not done so well. Oh no! Oh no! Hey, this is this is life with with cooking live. I hope it works, but sometimes it doesn't. This is totally my fault, guys. I tell you what I did wrong. I, I didn't flour my mould. Didn't flour my mould. What can I say? That is um so so annoying. I should have floured it. I didn't. My apologies. That that should have been a lovely. Uh, What's that supposed to be? That was supposed to be a lovely teddy bear. Um, I'm swashing the mould so I can show you. Uh, yeah, oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Never mind. I uh, just have to go, go again. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, I, I should do another. I'll do another bread recipe. I won't do it live actually, because um, these these things are brilliant. I love them. So yeah, it should have been a little teddy bear mold. So what it should have looked like on top of the. So it should look like on top of that loaf. But that loaf needs to ease the crew again as well. So yeah, give that 35 minutes. Um yeah, okay. Well listen, I'll have to have another go at that press. Make a recording of it. Then I can put the recording, uh, uh, Sunshine, if you're watching, uh, anyone else. Um, yeah, and I'll put a recording up on <laughs> on, uh, on the Amazon, on the on my storefront, uh, do a little uh, edited recording of it. Anyway, listen, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, it's been a real pleasure um, cooking. You know, I always love cooking, particularly uh, when I get to eat the results, even when I muck up the bread. But uh, whatever you're doing this weekend, have a fantastic weekend. As I say, I'm going to do another cook show on Tuesday morning, uh, 9 a.m. UK time. Actually, as it's not, actually, as it's only me, no, Tuesday, you know what? No, I'm going to go again Tuesday, same time. I'll cook myself some more, um, some more. Uh... Oh, Christina, how lovely to see you. Um, you made it. Yeah, you made it. You've just seen the end of my disastrous bread making attempt, which was so annoying because I've I was making this, I got this from uh, Arthur Zanica. Uh, brilliant, bread proving basket, comes with a dough thingy, has these brilliant um, templates that you can use to, to give your bread beautiful, uh, beautiful designs. So, but alas, on the bread I was using just now, I, I mucked it up, I didn't flour the, the template, the wooden template stupidly so it will stuck so hopefully next time next time it will be fine uh sometime i want the ratatouille recipe i will give you the ratatouille, uh, the ratatouille recipe um yes yeah, so i'm trying if you if, if you can find a keto nick on on facebook uh then please um, do and uh and message me there and i can get you that recipe but in the meantime if not i will hopefully see you on tuesday um, and I'll post the recipes in places. I'm not sure how we can do that with Amazon. It's not quite the same. You can't pre-promote directly on Amazon. So, uh, but yeah, do follow though, um, Sunshine, and <clears throat> you'll get a notification next time I'm going live. Anyway, do uh, have a do check out the other stuff in the carousel. We haven't got round to it today because we've run out of time. But we've got these brilliant. Uh, this is one element. One element of the uh, Nutri Ninja. 
uh, system that we got in uh, in the carousel. I just uh, quickly uh, pop it up there in the carousel on Amazon. Um, yeah, because I was going to grind up some. It's a spice grinder, and so spice, pepper, you name it, we grind it. And with a neutral ninja, we grind it in about two seconds flat. Not even that. Um, so anyway, yeah, we'll have to wait until Tuesday. I won't, I won't be grinding any pepper until Tuesday. So, um, so yeah, and that'll be good. Um, that'll be good sunshine actually, because you know, as you've seen on that, very little we talked about in the in the comments. We're talking about seasoning. You don't need much seasoning, but you do need seasoning because they are salt and pepper are our basic flavour blocks. You've got salt, pepper, acid, um, just like vinegars or uh, lemon juice, as an example in the salad. So it's all those different things, marmy. Um, and just all those different flavours that combine just to make it taste nice. So anyway, listen guys, until Tuesday, have a, have a lovely weekend if I don't see you before, and uh, until Tuesday, have, be safe uh, and don't get don't catch anything, and I will see you on Tuesday. Have a great day guys, I need to, now I need to stop my live stream on Amazon, so goodbye for Amazon folk. Uh, and of course I'm live streaming on live streaming on my favorite, favorite of all uh, things. So I'm going to put that in there. Oops, yeah, put that in there. In the stream, be live, there you go. Uh, I know most people watching on Facebook and YouTube, you've probably got be live already, but there's a link to the be live free trial. And if you type in Nick Dash Wood, I think it is, you'll get a 30% discount on the pro uh, elements, not just uh, that's monthly and um, annually. So that's worth having. I know they're running some uh, promos over Christmas as well. So listen, guys, stay safe. Have a brilliant time wherever you're doing. Stephen, if you're still watching, have a safe trip to Germany. I think I'm still seeing you on Monday, though. Um, so yeah, have a great day, guys.